Hey there, it's Crafty Jennabug. It's another day of Defemember 2022. Hosted by 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel. This one's difficult for me. <laughs> We're on I'm on day four, which is recycled art and a coin envelope. Okay, coin envelope, no big deal. Recycling my art? That hurts. Um, I went through all of the sketchbooks that I still have and I just couldn't find anything I was willing to sacrifice. Yeah, I just, I, I have a deep attachment to some of the things I've created and then other things that I created just were like, no, <laughs> we're not doing that. So the piece that I have decided after about an hour or two of like debating it is this now this may not look like much but i have been drawing pictures with words for a long time like since high school um and this is like the first line of beautiful freak so you're such a beautiful freak. I wish they were more just like you. I didn't finish it, but I f was done with it. If that makes sense. Here's an idea of some of the other, um, here's an idea of some of the other. Oh, here's one. I, I think this is the first one I did. Ignore my snake on the other side. Um, and this is just all words. This is actually song lyrics to an Ani DeFranco song, um, up, 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 up. So all of these pictures are made, well, for the most part, most of them are words. There's also words like hidden in and yeah, it's impossible to read the lyrics of the song, but I used the song as inspiration. In fact, there's a line in the song, she goes out on a limb and tries to make a home or begins to build a home. And so there's a limb with a home, stuff like that. Um, and then there's another one on this side, which is just kind of random words that I did. This one is not based on song lyrics, but I have a few others um, that are song lyrics. And yeah. Now, if you want to see like a time lapse of me making something like this, First of all, it takes forever. I have carpal tunnel now, and so it's a little difficult. But um, let me know down below if you're interested in, some, in seeing me do a time lapse of something like that. But this was made in the same vein as those and would have eventually been one of those. I have no other use for this, so... I'm going to turn it into the coin envelope. Now, the animal for today is the turtle. And I haven't decided yet if I want to use this one. I don't, it definitely doesn't match at all, but I might be able to just kind of use this as a background. You know, I think Barbara from 49 Dragonflies has a turtle freebie. Maybe I will print that out and color one for this. Okay, so I printed out Barbara's turtle freebie. I think I want to color two, these two smaller ones and stack them on top of each other. Maybe. I don't know. This one is really bugging me. Maybe I could use this guy. Maybe I could. Well, something else I've thought about. I, mean, I thought about watercolor, but I don't think that's going to work. Although now I kind of want to do the whole thing. I'm overthinking it, and I know it. And it's upsetting me. <laughs> so what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to spray some distress sprays on here. So let me get my setup ready, and then we'll go from there. All right, here is my thought. The shape of this 
kind of makes me think of like a pond and that's where turtles live right so that's what I'm gonna go with I have two different distress sprays this one is a spray stain and salty ocean this one is distress oxide spray and prize ribbon and I'm just gonna kind of go nuts I also have a bottle of Distress Oxide Spray in Mowed Lawn. I think I want to add that around the edges so that it looks and feels a little bit more like a pond. that didn't really do anything to the integrity of the art, which is cool, but it is pretty wet. I'm gonna let that dry. While that's drying, I think I will figure out a way to color one of these, or two of these. I don't know yet, but I'm gonna change things up. All right, so I'm going to color, I think I'm gonna go ahead and color both of these just in case I end up using both. I'm gonna do so with some alcohol markers by Creative Expert. Um, I got these at Ross for $4, so. Um, it has two different greens and this brown. I'm not sure if I'll use the other ones yet, but they have a broad tip and they have a brush tip and so Now I'm going to cut them out. My little turtles are colored and dried and I inked around them just a little bit with vintage photo, not enough to really make a difference, but just so that any like little white bits that I couldn't cut out blended in a little better. They weren't as stark. So I think I'm going to put them like that on top of each other because it's adorable. But in the meantime, this has dried and I think I'm going to use this part, but first I'm going to figure out how I'm going to fold this baby. I think I want this to be the top flap, like this, to be the side, and then I need this piece. <laughs> break. <laughs> hmm. So that would be the front. And then my turtles. Okay. Alright, so I've got those creases. This is the bottom. I watched Barbara and Louisa both make um, coin envelopes, so hopefully I get this right.
Okay, I think I've got this figured out. I want to have my turtles right around here, one on top of the other. Right about there. And then I have a box of um, flowers that I cut out of different patterns and magazines. And I arranged a few. I still have to glue them, so I will do that in a moment. But I'm going to put this one here. And I'm going to put this one down here so they because they look like water lilies and I think that brings together the whole like pond theme and then I'm gonna put one on the back a big one on the back so I'm gonna go ahead and get these situated Now I have a video where I make, or I show how I cut these out. I think I'll leave it like that. If you're interested in seeing that, I can link it below. I love it. I think that is so cute. A little turtle sitting in a pond with some water lilies. Playing water games. This one I've decided to stick on the back. I don't like how you can just read Freak right here, even though it's part of the song. So I decided I'm going to put it down here. That way you can't read it very much. And I did it in these colors because there was orange in the turtle. So I wanted to carry some of that orange over here. That feels done to me. Initially I was going to do two flowers similar to this. Um, one here and one here. One here, but I really wanted to cover Freak because it just wasn't sitting well with me. And raise them up a little so that I could get a string under them, but I think what I'll do is I will just glue it to the inside of a page. Make it a flip. So you can still access the inside of it. I really like it. It is so cute. This is not how I envisioned this going. I, Like I said, I struggled a lot with this one in the beginning. Um, trying to find artwork that I didn't mind repurposing or recycling, what have you, was really difficult for me. Um, it's not something I do often. Usually if I'm not happy with a piece, I just leave it there and move on. So. Um, I'm glad this um, song lyric thing was able to find a home. And this was a lot of fun. It's pretty, I mean, simple, some might say, but I really like it. I really like it. This was fun. I've never made a, car, a coin envelope before, so that was a neat challenge. Thank you again, Barbara and Louisa, for um, letting us all play along with you in this Defemerember challenge. Yeah, I really like what I made today. It's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.